In his book, Matthew Perry made a shocking and cruel remark, questioning why Kinu was still around while talented actors like River Phoenix and Heath Ledger had passed away. Fans were outraged and flooded the internet with support for Kinu, forcing Perry to apologize. Yeah, I apologize. Yo, I should have with this, guys. It's your boy Blasphemous HD. You guys see me a video called Joe Rogan Tried to Warn Keanu Reeves About Hollywood. If you guys want to watch the original video, it is by Hollywood Whisperer. Let's do this. Must be one of the nicest, coolest people on the planet because no one has a bad word to say about that Never. guy ever. He might. Yeah. He's got like a regular watch on and sneakers. He's normal as fuck, man. Yeah, it's nice it's real weird. Up. Like he, he's figured out a way to avoid. Right. Like there he is, right there, on the fucking sub. The end of the universe. It's the end of time and oh, space. Wow. Continue. Uh, so your face. It's all over. Joe Rogan has never been shy about speaking his mind when it comes to Hollywood. And one thing that he's always been clear about, well, that is Keanu Reeves is way too good for that shady business. Well, that's very physically demanding. Like, you ever see the Keanu Reeves footage? No reason. He gets into it. Yeah. Rogan's been on record praising the guy, calling him a genuine soul in an industry full of phonies. But here's the kicker. He's also warned Kinu to watch his back, like seriously yeah, warned him, because Hollywood has yeah. a way of chewing people up yeah. and spitting the them out. The thing that's out of you real and then problem tell you did. in Hollywood is that they don't have enough roles that's for Asians. And yet, you. despite staying low-key and out of the he drama, Kinu's name chick. always seems to, tell to get dragged into controversies. Is it bad luck, or is something more sinister going on behind the scenes? Let's break it down, because Rogan might have been onto something all along. So why has Hollywood given Kinu Reeves the cold shoulder? Rumor has it there's a secret like blacklist it, going around, an under-the-radar like attempt to push aside a star whose honesty and number, values are shaking things up in Tinseltown. Just, great reputation, by the way, in, in Hollywood, of being a very nice guy. Despite his spotless reputation and undeniable charm on screen, it seems like some powerful forces are out to see Kinu Reeves fail. But why? What does Kinu have that's got Hollywood's elite so spooked? Happiness. For over 30 years, his career well, has been nothing off. short of legendary. He's brought iconic characters to life and earned the love of audiences and fellow actors alike. The Matrix changed my life, and then over these years, um, it's changed so many other people's lives. But now, rumors are swirling that kinu has been blacklisted. According to Joe Rogan, the outspoken podcaster known for his no-filter takes, Hollywood might be cutting ties with Reeves due to his increasingly controversial image. This sudden twist has everyone talking as fans and critics try to figure out why the industry would can't control somebody ain't got no dirt on would turn on a star who's been known for his humility, generosity, and almost universal appeal. Joe Rogan is a household name for MMA enthusiasts. With over a decade of experience as the UFC's color commentator, he's a seasoned pro. But Joe's talents don't stop there. He's a comedian with a solid track record and a former TV host. Comedy is his domain too, with a massive following. His podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience, has millions of loyal listeners and even snagged the top spot on Spotify's top podcast list. With this kind of background, there's no wonder he knows so much. Who can tell what he must have seen? Podcast to be audio only. And uh, my manager was like, think about the Elon Musk moment when Elon Musk is smoking oh, weed. It's huge. That is a viral moment that only not only this joe is also a prominent celebrity known for his candid discussions and has been fearless in shedding light on the darker aspects of hollywood through his podcasts and personal revelations recently he has once again emerged with a startling revelation this time focusing on the questionable practices employed by casting agents in hollywood well she this was the fucked up thing was she wasn't in any way overweight like she was beautiful she had a great body she just, it was just like a weird, she was an actress. It seems like Joe has some serious issues with the elites of the industry from the very start. And the speculations grew stronger when in the 1951st episode of the JRE podcast, UFC commentator Joe Rogan brought on YouTuber CoffeeZilla as his guest. Their conversation revolved around the challenges and issues plaguing Hollywood. Rogan highlighted an interesting perspective, stating that in the industry, individuals often receive a lot of attention and admiration when they are successful and thriving. However, when actors face difficulties or their careers hit a rough patch, they often find themselves isolated, with few willing to engage in conversations with them. You've developed your own show and you've created your own thing. You haven't been chosen. In Hollywood, the problem is you're being chosen for everything, so you're being cast in these things. Joe Rogan expressed concerns about the safety of young artists, particularly females. 
in Hollywood, citing the unsettling practices employed by Hollywood elites in the casting process. During the discussion on his podcast, the 55-year-old host emphasized how Hollywood actors often feel compelled to shape their personalities to align with the expectations of those who hold the power to grant them roles in movies. He said, in Hollywood, the problem is that you're chosen for everything, so you're being cast in these things. You have to deal with people that approve you or pick you, so you're formulating your personality based on whatever the zeitgeist is, whatever the ideology of most of the producers are. Joe further delved into the hypothetical scenario of how Hollywood might operate with a right-wing ideology, sparking speculations that he was addressing the questionable casting practices involving females in the industry. However, Rogan clarified that actors often conform to industry norms not out of personal conviction, but to fit in and secure a successful career. He argued that these actors shape their beliefs and opinions based on what they perceive as the path to success, rather than rigidly adhering to any specific ideology. So you have to deal with people that approve you or pick you. So you're formulating your personality based on whatever the zeitgeist is, whatever the ideology. People's speculations on this matter are grounded in a history of such examples that have been visible from the outset. The public is well aware of the demands placed on young female actors by casting agents when they enter the industry with the intention of contributing to society through their work. Whether it's the production of films like The Artist, Shakespeare in Love, or The English Patient, the Queen's born Harvey Weinstein, a serial has consistently demonstrated his talent for creating influential period films. Joe has raised a critical okay, concern by pointing to these examples and individuals who contribute to making the entertainment industry increasingly challenging for women. He asserts that it remains a difficult path for females to pursue their dreams in this field because they often face objectification and mistreatment. He said, of course, that's why they're all crazy. He then added, in the Hollywood, it's even worse, right? Because you don't get to choose your own destiny. And maybe Maybe it is related to Keanu as well. Keanu Reeves is one of those action actors who usually shines on the big screen, who doesn't love action, especially when it's done right. Reeves has spent his entire cinematographic life dedicated to action movies, and perhaps what he is best known for is his work in the Matrix saga and the critically acclaimed John Wick film series. But do you know the man who made John Wick the master assassin that he is? Well, Joe Rogan let the cat out of the bag. The UFC commentator on his Joe Rogan Experience podcast sat down with Greg Fitzsimmons as he talked about the master who taught Keanu Reeves to be a master assassin. But who is the mystery man? Well, it's none other than 13X national championship winner Taron Butler. While talking about guns and gun ranges, Rogan revealed that Taron Butler was the one who taught Reeves all about shooting guns for the action franchise. He said, he taught Keanu Reeves for all the John Wick movies. He taught Holly Berry when she was in John Wick. He teaches any time like a celebrity needs to learn how to look like a real assassin. They go to that guy. Rogan further praised Butler for his expertise in the firearm. He said, he's a multiple time champion and those, you know, when they do those, they have a course and you run the course and you know, beep imitates beeper noise. Like they time you and that guy wins all those F things. He's a wizard. He's like revered for his prowess with the gun. Along with his fans, even people from the entertainment industry can't get enough of him and admire his personality. In Joe Rogan's podcast with Coley and Noir, the duo shared mutual admiration for Keanu Reeves. Joe Rogan shared in the podcast that he is very impressed with the simplicity and calm demeanor of the whole truth actor. He shared that Reeves is adept at handling fame and wealth, which is offered to him in huge quantities. Rogan said that he had never let fame affect his mind and does not believe in the show off of his wealth. Rogan shared in the podcast, that is how he handles being that famous. He is the matrix guy that's over the top level of fame. He hit that Johnny Depp, Tom Cruise level of fame and then became a super chill mellow guy who can go through a crowd. That guy sits on the subway by himself. There is no outward display of wealth from him. He is extremely wealthy. When you see him, he is dressed like me. He's got his regular watch on with sneakers. He is normal as F man. He is real weird. He added that the actor has no attitude despite being one of the A-lister stars. Reeves has been spotted by several people on the local subways without any bodyguard or any protection. Rogan shared that people often don't believe their eyes when they see him in public. And Why in God's name would a man who is pretty much a trained assassin ever need any protection? Dismiss him. He said, 
He had figured out a way to disappear in plain sight. Even if you talk to him, he is just normal. He added that the actor is very humble and compassionate as he showed a video of Keanu Reeves in Subway, where he offered his seat to a woman in a crowded subway. Keanu's ability to stay true to himself in an industry that's often seen as fake really speaks to his character. When you look closer at his career and the hurdles he's overcome, you don't just see a talented actor. You see a genuinely good guy trying to navigate an industry that sometimes values money over people. But here's the kicker. There's more to this than just a few powerful people not liking him. You'd think someone like Keanu, with his authenticity, would be a perfect fit for Hollywood. But oddly enough, that might be the problem. Maybe his realness is just too much for an industry that often favors a polished, packaged image. And yet, despite all this, Keanu keeps pushing forward, taking on challenging roles and entertaining millions of fans. So why is Hollywood turning its back on him now? That's the big question. Bring peace and everything, but they haven't. Um, and so what has that done to them? It's a lot of so pressure. It's a, a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure, right? And, right? and you've got your yeah. family now, but yep. you're still trying to write the song because you've got to save the world. But the questions don't end there. Could Keanu's laid-back, down-to-earth vibe be shaking up the status quo in Hollywood? Maybe his realness is holding up a mirror to the industry's flaws, and some people just don't like what they see. A lot of them. What truly sets him apart, though, isn't just his ability to pack theaters. It's his character. In a world often driven by ego, Keanu shines with his modesty, kindness, and warmth. Fans don't just love him for the iconic roles he plays on screen, they admire him for who he is when the cameras aren't rolling. So it is all because of Keanu because he talked about all the skeptical things going on in the Hollywood. Keanu Reeves indeed stands out in the world of celebrities for his unique approach to fame. While many public figures' lowest moments or controversies tend to garner the most attention, Keanu's enduring appeal comes from his remarkable down-to-earth and humble demeanor. His authenticity and genuine nature have earned him a dedicated and adoring fan base, but maybe he has failed to earn Hollywood elites favor. He claims to have observed genuinely sinister deeds committed by these elites, which led him to defy their authority. Keanu Reeves stands apart from other celebrities due to his distinct approach to fame. While many public figures' controversies grab headlines, Keanu's enduring charm stems from his down-to-earth and humble demeanor. His authenticity has garnered him a devoted fan base, yet he may have fallen short in winning favor among Hollywood elites. Reeves asserts he's witnessed genuinely dark deeds among these elites, prompting him to challenge their influence. Hollywood has often been portrayed as a realm where humility and down-to-earth qualities are overlooked. The influential figures who hold sway tend to dismiss individuals' talents and instead aim to exert control or demand obedience. Keanu Reeves, too, has faced challenges within this system. Nevertheless, he has recently shed light on his experiences, revealing the pressures and attempts by powerful forces to influence his path in the industry. During one interview, he said, No, it sucks, but it's just the way it is. You can have positive and negative experiences, but what I like about studios are the resources and the worlds that they can create. Obviously, a lot of good filmmakers work on studio movies. In a widely viewed 2011 video, which has amassed an astounding 16 million views, an unfortunate incident occurred. A woman unintentionally backed her Mercedes SUV into Keanu Reeves' beloved 1973 Norton Commando 750 motorcycle while the actor happened to be inside a medical facility. The Beverly Hills police promptly arrived to document the incident, and Keanu engaged in a discussion with both the law enforcement officers and the woman involved. However, it's worth noting that some individuals have speculated whether this accident had more to it than meets the eye, suggesting the involvement of Hollywood elites. In a 2015 video, Keanu Reeves can be seen walking briskly through an airport, pausing to take photos with fans. Notably, he is traveling on a commercial flight and appears to have no bodyguards, even though his net worth at the time was estimated at $350 million. Once Joe Rogan talked about Keanu and he said, Funny thing, I'm giving total credit to Keanu. 100% he started doing that and I'm like, what are you doing? He was like, I'm checking that F I give the credit to Keanu. I mean, that's awesome. It may seem unusual that people applaud Keanu Reeves for displaying basic human decency, highlighting how Hollywood has significantly diminished our expectations of celebrities. Despite Keanu's remarkable achievements in Hollywood, there is a side of him that strongly rejects the allure and extravagance associated with Tinseltown. The reasons behind his sentiments are anything but lighthearted. Start to think about in those ways and to think about impermanence and, you know, uh, immortality and, 
you know. Keanu's widely recognized reputation as a truly kind-hearted individual could easily overshadow the profound animosity he holds towards the unsettling and formidable aspects of the entertainment industry. Beneath his affable exterior lies a deeply ingrained resentment stemming from his genuine disquiet with the industry's superficiality and manipulative tendencies. According to him, there was an independent element that first adopted digital, but when it got to Hollywood in the mainstream, every role had to be looked at. People lost their jobs, industries have fallen because of this transition, but jobs are also being created. It is nature and it can be brutal sometimes, and it can be beautiful. According to Kinu, the prevailing culture in Hollywood appears to prioritize power over ethics prompting him to engage in a personal crusade against the darker facets of the entertainment world. The recent apprehension of Harvey Weinstein brought the shadowy underbelly of Hollywood's elite to the forefront, exposing the disconcerting truth of the industry. With numerous actors, directors, and producers facing allegations of sexual misconduct, the industry's unpleasant realities were undeniably laid bare. Keanu emphasized that the problem of exploiting young, aspiring women might not be the only issue plaguing Hollywood. He also drew attention to something even more disconcerting, the presence of sinister elements such as individuals with unusual practices like blood drinking within the industry. You see him, he's dressed like me. Yeah. He's got like a regular watch on and sneakers. He's normal. It's, it's real weird. And people freak out. They're like, is that? No, can't be. Recently, a website spun a whole- There ain't no damn such thing as no blood drinking in the industry, bro. Wholly fabricated narrative involving actor Keanu Reeves, falsely asserting that he made a statement in Milan suggesting that Hollywood elites employ the blood of babies to get high. This concocted story gained significant traction on Facebook, amassing over 26,000 engagements. It was shared not only on the- Yeah, just understand anyone that's going to be doing YouTube or any form of entertainment, this is what people that sit on their couches all day and eat hot Cheetos and dream of being a Beyonce or a Chris Brown do. Within eight years of them sitting down and eating the same bags of hot Cheetos and not doing any work on themselves or any work to get anywhere in life, they, they come up with an idea in their brain about how the only way to really get famous is not through hard work and backbreaking labor. It is actually through drinking a simple potion or a slim fast drink or some other microwave society concoctable thing that's not gonna take 13 years to make but that's just what it do right like don't don't fall for that that's don't fall for that verified your newswire platform but also on associated pages of the people's voice he said during an interview yeah digitally i don't mind if someone takes a blink out during an edit but early on, in the early 2000s, or it might have been the 90s, I had a performance changed. They added a tear to my face and I was just like, huh? It was like, I don't even have to be here. During the production of The Devil's Advocate, Keanu Reeves made a remarkable choice that few actors would even contemplate. He willingly let go of something that most would fiercely hold on to, a substantial paycheck. The Devil's Advocate is a supernatural thriller that delves into the murky realms of success and temptation, centering around a young lawyer. As casting discussions progressed, not even the Oscar-winning Al Pacino, who was approached for the role of John Milton, could be swayed initially. He declined the offer three times, expressing reservations about the character's cliched nature. I mean, you are at first, but you become a pretty bad guy. Do I? Yes, well, I, I do. So. Well, first of well, all, I you're, you're not so. very good to Charlize, for starters. Yes, I am. For in well, the beginning, no. Pacino went on to suggest Robert Redford and Sean Connery as potential candidates for the role. Allegedly, Keanu agreed to a substantial reduction in his fee, amounting to millions of dollars, in order to help meet Al Pacino's salary demands. Once again, Keanu's selflessness proved to be beneficial for all parties involved, except for himself. The movie eventually raked in over $61 million in box office revenue, with Al Pacino's performance garnering significant praise as a standout highlight within the film. You, you remember that scene where um, Al Pacino is, is, is talking and I'm in his, uh, I'm in his, um, his apartment?
Yeah. And he's saying, you know, it wasn't an isolated incident where he sacrificed a portion of his earnings. About three years later, Kenu Reeves reportedly agreed to a significant 90% reduction in his salary to co star alongside Gene Hackman in The Replacements. However, public opinion about Kenu's talent was divided, with some considering him as mediocre. Nevertheless, his performance in Bram Stoker's Dracula, an acclaimed gothic horror film where he portrayed Jonathan Harker, proved to be both artistically and financially financially triumphant. Even the film's director said, we knew that it was tough for him to affect an English accent. He tried so hard. That was the problem, actually. He wanted to do it perfectly, and in trying to do it perfectly, it came off as stilted. I tried to get him to just relax with it and not do it so fastidiously, so maybe I wasn't as critical of him, but that's because I like him personally so much. To this day, he's a prince in my eyes. Despite all the pain he's faced, Kinu chose to keep moving forward, not for fame or fortune, but by staying true to himself. He's shown incredible resilience, kindness, and dignity, even while dealing with personal loss. And yet, it's confusing why someone with such a humble, generous, and down-to-earth reputation would be targeted. Hollywood, as we know, often values control and power over authenticity, and Kinu's refusal to play by those rules sets him apart. But here's where things get even stranger. In his book, Matthew Perry made a shocking and cruel remark, questioning why Kinu was still around while talented actors like River Phoenix and Heath Ledger had passed away. Fans were outraged and flooded the internet with support for Kinu, forcing Perry to apologize. I apologize. I should have used my own name instead, he added in the statement. Still, it left people wondering, why target Kinu at all? Perry's comment isn't the first time he's faced criticism, and it seems Kinu's been dealing with hidden resentment from parts of the industry for a long time. In a 2019 interview, Kinu revealed that Fox Studios blacklisted him after he turned down Speed 2, a sequel that ended up being widely criticized. But that wasn't even the worst of it. This moment, along with others, shows just how tough it can be to stay true to yourself in Hollywood's tricky landscape. Be Keanu Reeves has said yes to some of the biggest roles of all time, but he's also said no to some junk, and because of that, he was actually blacklisted by Hollywood. Being the thoughtful and honest person he is, Kinu didn't want to be part of something he didn't believe in. Instead of respecting his choice, Fox cut ties with him. While Sandra Bullock agreed to return, Kinu saw the disaster ahead, and he was right, Speed 2 flopped. Even though he dodged a bullet, Fox held a grudge, keeping him out of their projects for over a decade. Kinu's refusal to play by Hollywood's rules didn't end there. He's always been firm about not allowing fake videos or deep fakes of himself in his contracts. While Hollywood loves its tech innovations, Kinu sees the dangers. He's cool with some computer effects here and there, but when they start replacing the heart of what an actor brings to the table, that's where he draws the line. Through it all, Kinu stays true to his beliefs, no matter how big his fame gets. And wigs and other props. He and his AI model. Kinu once shared a story from early in his career when a tear was digitally added to his face in a scene where he hadn't actually cried. That moment completely changed how he viewed acting and special effects. From then on, he became determined not to be part of a future where technology steals the authenticity of real, honest performances. But his firm stance against fake videos and CGI didn't sit well with Hollywood big shots. They saw his resistance as a challenge to their control. And it's not just about standing up for himself, Kinu's fighting for every actor who could one day be replaced by a computer-generated version of themselves. It's a bold stand and it's only pushed him further away from Hollywood's inner circle. But his fans never left him. One of them wrote, He is a symbol of man, masculinity, warrior, and protector of self-identity, self-respect, and injustice. Sometimes, a lone wolf. Another one added, He is the real-life John Wick fighting the high table. That's it for today. See you in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe to World Blasphemous HD Twisters.